Yeah, I got this. All right, we got this. We got this. Let's see. Uh... Look what you did. Oh, you were that's... designed to serve humans, not. No, I didn't. Don't look at me like you that. Me, no, I didn't. Uh oh, pick up. Is it prawn? Is it prawn? What is it? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? What was it? What was it? Oh! I'm so talented! Leo, I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. You weren't in the neighborhood. But you know what? This thing is not your son. Choke it's him. A fucking machine! Enough. Choke. Okay, okay. November 5th! Will time jump? <gasps> a bar! This is just Red Dead! Oh, Connor in his corner! Hell yes! Oh, finally! Oh, we're back to Connor. Best boy. No androids allowed. Oh. And no dogs. <laughs> it's really rude. No dogs or androids. Um, I'm gonna go in anyway. Yeah, we're gonna just go in. What's up, dudes? I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson. Scan. Are you? Mismatch. That's Edward Dempsey. No criminal record. Nice. Who else we got? No face detected. And faces. There's a guy. There's a face over there. Maybe. Okay. Hey, that's rude. Sir, you got something to say to me? Who are you? Derek Myers? No criminal record? I'm just looking for somebody. Have you seen my... Bartender? I know you're probably not him, but I just want to know your name. Jimmy Peterson? No criminal record. Hell yeah. Uh, who are you? Christopher Gray? DUI? Oh, he's gonna... He's probably the one who's like... Yeah. He's, he's not gonna be nice to Connor. He's not gonna be nice to Connor, I can just tell. Who are you? Mm, Jonah? Okay. Uh... Who are you? Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I be. It's my boy. There. There it is. Hank Anderson. Eighty-five. Nineteen eighty-five. Okay, so that makes him like fifty, fifty-two or something like that. <laughs> There's my daddy. <laughs> All right, introduce self. Hello, Hank, I'm Connor. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. It's rude. My instructions stipulate that I have plastic to... Plastic asshole? You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> something, no. something. Plastic asshole? Where? Never mind. Hey! Listen, uh, understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable <laughs> in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. There you go, my now friend. back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Hey, so rude. I'm gonna take this. 
you're done here. I think we can go now. You prick. I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Try. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They can program <laughs> assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls. <laughs> Duty calls. Okay. I like the <laughs> Connor. I love Connor. <laughs> Protect Connor at all costs. Okay, so Hank was just like drinking on the job though. Please, he's no DMCA. Please, he's no DMCA. You wait here. I gotta come in with you. I literally cannot be. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. It is so not. You shut the fuck up, and you wait here. Conflicting orders, selecting a priority. Oh, we're going into that crime scene. Follow. Yep, we get in now, baby. I am not staying in the car. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? No. I'm not confirming anything. All right. Excuse me. My name is Connor, and I belong here too. Android Police line. Permitted beyond this point. I'm from Cyberlife. It's with me. Is it respect? Does Hank respect me? What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? For like Your coming. Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got I'm probably gonna lick some blood. Hank. I did We're that at the last crime scene I was show. at. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. Use R1 to switch. Camera angle. Well, let's first look out around. Anything good? No. The landlord, the tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. Uh huh. That's when he found the body. Found the body. Oh, jeez. Hectic, basic. Smell. It was even uh. worse before we opened the window. Oh, uh, so his body had been here for a while. The landlord just didn't Victor's come and check. Ortiz. He just was like two months late on rent and, and he just didn't assault. didn't bug him at all? According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. He stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed he's in. Not worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Well, no more from the coroner. Oh, gets it probably here. smells so bad. There's a oh. kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors I confirmed he had one, but it wasn't oh, here when we life. arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Oh, Dama. Make yourself at home, I think. Oh, Dama. I'll be outside if you need me. Oh, goodness. Oh, jeez. I'll take smells I never ever want to experience for 600, Alex. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. That's what I literally, I was Chris, thinking. is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Okay. Oh, God. Examine. Oh. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Okay. Let's come over here. Chris, I Examine. want full analysis on the narcotics. Disgusting. Who's the analyst? Look at that. Eee! Internal bleeding. 28 stab wounds. Deceased more than 19 days ago. Oh, gross. Deceased. Carlos Ortiz. 5'6. 286. Estimated time of death 1130. Three weeks ago. Oh, what's over here? Anything good? Red ice. Okay. Not good. Oh, what's over here? You got uh, drugs in your hand? Fingerprints! Okay. Theft and aggravated assault. Okay. Uh... Okay. 
What's this? Oh, we, oh! Victim fell here. It looks like he like slipped on his own filth. Maybe? Oh, victim was stabbed. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind, I take back. Okay. Came from the kitchen. Connor, can you tell us approximately how tall the the killer is? Can you tell us? Okay. Yikes. Yeah, that's, a, that's a lot. That is personal. That is personal. Personal. Okay. He was stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Whee! Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Okay. Examine this. I'm gonna lick it. I'm gonna lick it. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't <laughs> put any more lick. evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Sinking done. Uh, yep, yeah, that is Carlos's blood. Nice. Nice, good to know. Regular letters, font, cyber life sands. Okay. You're done, Lieutenant. I am alive. Carlos. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What do we got here? The knife. Well, let's just see if there's any fingerprints. Let's just see if there's no fingerprints. Okay. There's none. Perfect. Good to know. Review this evidence. What do we got over here? Examine. Drugs. Yep. Red eyes. Yep. Seems to be the theme. Victim use drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. What do we got here? Dried blood. It's his own. Okay. How about over here? Whoop, weep. Uh, don't look, chat. Look away, chat. Do open this. There's nothing in there. Nothing good in there. All right. We found four of ten evidence. I reviewed a lot of things. Victim used drugs. It was super effective. Pardon me, CSI investigators. Uh, I gotta come through this room. More dried blood. And examine this. Signs of a struggle. Uh oh. Sounds good. What's keeping the oh, a knife is missing. Murder weapon taken from here. Okay. So is his own knife. Read. Android sex officially better. No, I'm going to the next article. Connor, I'm telling you to go to the next article, not read. Connor, please. Here you go. Tech addict. There we go. There we go. Is your Android spying on you? Connor wants to read about Android sex? Okay. Well, let's read about Android sex then, Taylor, if you insist. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Something, something, plastic asshole. It's official. 68% of men prefer sex with an Android to a real woman. 52 of men saying they've tried the experience at least once. That's a lot of android love to go around. Your reasons given for the preference? Androids don't want to talk about feelings afterwards. 
This story is sponsored by Eden Club. Discretion is our middle name. Ugh. Hate it when women want to talk about feelings. Ugh. Absolutely disgusting. Can't believe it. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. Examine. What do we have here? Baseball bat. Is dent? Someone got bonked. It's probably uh, his fingerprints. Yeah. All right. Uh, reconstruct. Let's go. Deviant took a knife. A knife? No! Got a knife. Oh, oh, okay. So he was beating up the Deviant before. He was... Deviant was attacked. Emotional shock. Okay, so the guy just came at him with a bat. And the Deviant said, um, excuse me, sir. Slashed him. That guy fell. Okay. No one wants to stay here a minute long. Report to Lieutenant Anderson. Ooh, dee, doo, doo. Yeah, <laughs> women moment. Talk about feelings after the sex. Absolutely ridiculous. Can't believe. Android would never. Uh, hello, Lieutenant. I got something to report Lieutenant, to you. I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started. Uh, in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Mm -hmm. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Well, let me tell you. I think the victim attacked the android. Uh, with the with the bat. With the bat. Yep. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Okay. The android came over here and grabbed a knife. Android threw the chair, stabbed the victim. The android stabbed the victim. I gotta make sure I'm hitting the right so buttons. The android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to uh, the living room. The living room. Where we found the body. He tripped over his own bottles. Oh. Ah! Slice and dice and slice and dice. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. The android murdered the victim. Oh, with the knife. With the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. Well, that's a good point. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. Our you blue. call it blue blood. Blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' bio components. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Luckily, my eye is not naked. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? I sure can, I bet. Correct. Yeah, baby! Let's go! Hank is tense. Do you need a little shoulder massage or something, Hank? You seem so tense. And I'm a special android, but not that kind of special android. I got, I got, I can see that you're tense. I could give you a shoulder rub if you would like. We scanning, baby. Good for blue blood. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I see it. Aha. All right. Okay. We went this way. It evaporates after a couple hours. Out the door. Step over that evidence. Search for blue blood. Did they like search the entire home or like is this deviant literally Is it just like in a closet somewhere? Like it's just hiding? It's just been hiding for a couple weeks? Did they even secure the like the premises? They even secure the premises at all. But they didn't. 
I bet you that they didn't. Oh, hold on. Oh, wait, just kidding. There's something over here. Examine. Gotta look at this. Ah, yes. A ladder was used. Oh. Look. Did you pop out through there? Traces lead to the attic. Oh, boy. God damn it. I even knew he wasn't there. I even knew that he wasn't there. Okay, we gotta get up into the attic. Hank, can you give me a boost, buddy? I've got a theory. I've got a theory. What do we got over here? Oh, like, I mean, it's not in here. It's in... The, uh... Obsessive writing. What? In tarnation? Oh. What is this? Religious offering? Okay. All right, okay. You, okay. Hank, have you seen a ladder by chance? Um, I think I know what we gotta do. Ed, turn around, Connor. Can I open that door? No. Can I grab this chair? I already read the Robot Sex magazine. I don't want to read that again. Already looked it. Oh, there we go. Chair. Yeah, take this chair. This is. Oh, I'm taking it. Everybody, hey, please. Hey, hey, what are you doing with that chair? Just got. Just. I'm going to check something. Maybe get back up. Maybe have my back. Uh, That'd be nice. Check something. Yeah, I'm going to check something. Follow me, though, because I feel really good about this. I feel really good about this. And I bet he might be very aggravated. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Hank? Hank? Can I call for backup? Can I, can I call for backup? Can I call for backup, please? I don't even know this android's name. Search attic? Do I have to? Maybe <laughs> he. Okay. I look for deviant. Yeah, look at there's blue blood everywhere. Maybe it's dead. Maybe it's already like blue bled out. Why didn't I like tell the humans where I was going? Or like what my theory was? Is he listening? Is he gonna come at me with a knife? Does he still? No, he dropped the knife. Oh. Fuck! I mean, Frick! Okay, so he's not there. Okay, he's not there. He's not there. Jack, what's going on? It's so tense right now. You come at a very, very tense time. We're on the edge of our seats. Okay. Oh, uh, I said, hey. Oh, what's going on? Excuse me. Ah! This is just a scary game. I see. He, he did a dash. He used his... He bonus action dash to disengage. Oh, no, you're not. He knows that you're here. Eee! Oh, is it right there? Ew, 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 Hey, buddy. How are you doing? I was just defending myself. Yeah, I, I figured. He's okay. gonna kill me. Yeah, I can tell. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. Chris, Ben, get your asses in here now. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. We did it! We found the deviant! Connor, you snitch! <laughs> Don't tell them, Connor. Frick off! <laughs> it's here, Lieutenant! We found him! Well, let's see. World? World stats? Only 94% found the deviant? Can you just say that? Can you just not find the deviant? All right, so I took the road most traveled by everybody. Hell yeah. Okay. Continue. November 5th. Oh man, do prism, we're, do prism, you might want to duck out. I mean, the never ending nap, you may need to, it looks like we're, we're back in the, the icky spot. Todd. <gasps> Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Okay. 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 Spaghetti. Nice. Boy, spaghetti. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. He's gonna get mad at that. He'll be like, oh, you say I can't provide for my family? Enjoy your spaghetti. Enjoy your spaghetti. Turn on the lights. Can't see shit. You could literally turn the lights on yourself. Serve Alice and Todd. I've already served them. Do you want me to pour your drinks for you too? Life's funny. Oh God, I don't like him. I lost my job because of androids. They might need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. For the water first. Go out and buy a fucking android. What a joke. Androids are so fucking wonderful. I just not serve him they never water. Fail. They never tired. They never sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruin my fucking life. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? She's a kid. She's literally a child. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Can we call Child Protective Maybe Services you think this is easy. on him? Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. I don't blame her. She's you are clearly closed, violent. Me, fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account! Can we fault. defend the kid? Yeah, you know. It's all your fucking fault! Uh uh. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! Let me kill him. Let me kill him. Yes! Let me kill him? Let me kill him. I know it's her fault. Let me kill him. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. I took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She fucked the shit about how I felt. Everything um, I could to make her happy, it just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Little fucking brat! Don't do drugs! Oh, it's all her fault! Let's, 
Let's not do this. Let's let's not let's not blame this. Uh uh. Mm, don't you dare touch the fucking gate. Are you kidding me? You just you just pass out. Can you just you just pass out? Can you just OD? That'd be a, like that's a terrible thing to wish upon somebody. But like I really I wish that you would kind of just like the Lord would take you. Mm -mm. Alice! Nope. Nope. Daddy's very mad. No. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. We're gonna don't move. No, let me fucking move. L1. God. Okay, so now we are a deviant. Hell yes. Protect Alice? Absolutely. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I'm on my way. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna... Um... Do... I don't have, like, any sort of weapon, but we're just gonna go into a barehanded... We're just gonna choke him with our hands. Alice. Is there... Uh, a knife? Or you don't why are you like why are you taking it out on your king? Is there anything? Did I Do I have any Oh my god? Alright, we're good. Please stop, Daddy! That's enough! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? Get out of here, that's an order. You hear me? No! I want you to leave Alice alone. You want? What do you mean, you want? You don't want anything! You're just a goddamn piece of plastic! I think you got a problem. We need to fix that. Oh my god! Oh god! Oh, the QTE! Oh, the QTE! Oh, the QTE! Oh, Watch out, Kara! Oh! Yep, yep, yep. I'm doing my best. Hey, that is that so unnecessary? Oh my god. Mash, 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 mash. Oh my god. Uh, do I have a weapon? Do I have anything? Do we have anything? Do we have anything? Oh, oh I hit the wrong button. Okay. Okay. Leave her alone. You do as I say. Oh. It's not dead. Excuse me. Uh, run away. Oh, we got it. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, you know what we did? We, there's a way out the back door. The, run to the garden. No, 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 go to the, the garden. Oh my God. Uh, is there a knife anywhere? We, he, there was dinner over here. Dinner was over here, he threw it. Is there like a broken plate? Or like a, a fork or anything? Fuck. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Please. Jesus. Oh. Yep, the back door. We found the exit. We found the exit. We found the exit when I explored back there earlier. Get the heck over there. I don't know where we're going, but we're out of here. And hopefully. Absolutely not. We're gonna run, we're gonna run, we're gonna run, we're gonna run!
God. If I had hit L1, could I have killed him? my god that was heavy if, could i oh my god i bet i escape escape from tot okay so it looks like we went escape instead of kill i bet i could have killed him i bet i could have killed him could i have killed him all right so this is the same day you made in a previous chapter impacted that outcome really that was by far the most boring party i've been to in the last 25 years every time i go to one of these i ask myself what the hell am i doing here i hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there well it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you yeah 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 no one gives a damn about art all they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Yeah, uh, this whole thing has made me need an alcohol as well, sir. Thank you. I think that's a great idea. <sighs> His piece of shit son's going to be here, isn't he? Scotch, neat as usual. Absolutely. Hey, okay, let's well, you go. Know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Hmm. All right. And a little bit of scotch. Neat. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Okay, yeah. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. No, I don't want to check it out. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. How about we instead, we go up, we get you in your jammies. We go get you in your jammies. We get you that scotch. Can, uh, I, instead of taking, can I wheel him around this way? We're gonna, I'm gonna go put you to bed. Hey! The door just won't open though. Just let me go to bed. Let me just go take him upstairs where he's safe. Carl, Carl. I like our conversations earlier about like whether or not Arthur Morgan liked ice cream. Those were way happier times than what's happening here. That's way, way happier times. Yep, 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 yep. We're just gonna put it in reverse. And uh, I'm gonna leave you, Carl. Let's come over here. Park you by the piano. Or you know what? Here, we can, we can. We can block the exit. You block the exit. I will go and confront your son for you. How about that? I think that that is a better idea than what we have got going on here. Okay, well, I guess the game is making me do this. I want it known that I'm not happy. Hey. I'm, I'm so tense. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw Leo. up. I'm gonna throw up. What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. All right, let's go fight him. Make Leo leave. Uh, warn. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? 
not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? Where's he got that item? Leave him alone! Hey! Come on! Let's see what you got! Hey! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't defend yourself. Do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. This is not fair. What's the matter? Too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I must decide for myself. No, no, he told us not to. We're gonna get in trouble if we hurt Leo. The police are on their way. The police are on their way. They're gonna be here soon. They'll see that he and I just I don't want Marcus to get in trouble. We just painted a picture. I mean I have to. Don't defend yourself. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you they're just gonna make an example out of you. They're just gonna make an example out of you. You're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm oh. gonna destroy you. Then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. We have a heart attack. What the heck happened there? Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. Okay. No. No. Dad. No. Dad. Please. This is all your fault. Are you this fucking kidding me? If it weren't for you. What the fuck are you talking about? How can you even begin to make that argument? The android. It was the android. No, it was not! That is not even fair. So we obeyed Carl. Okay. What does this say? Check studio? I didn't want to check the studio. There was another option? I tried to go upstairs. It wouldn't let me. Confront Leo. Obey Carl. So if I hadn't obeyed Carl, if I had fought him, something else would have happened. Something else, like, absolutely would have happened so if i had fought and disobeyed carl okay it's like a 50 50 sheesh all right why'd you kill him what happened before you took that knife How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it, I'm out of here. Ah. <sighs> We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing it up a little. I don't After think that all, that's the answer. It's not human. Eh, I don't know if that's... don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. 
Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I like that Hank is starting to like me. <laughs> um. Let's see. We've got a lot of things to analyze. Dried blood. Oh, did it did it not finish? It did. Okay. Burn marks. Housekeeper. Okay. Uh, non-critical damage level 2 caused by a baseball bat. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Software instability. Alright. Um, interrogate. Reach optimal stress for confession. Oh, gosh. Okay, I missed one. Okay. Oh, shit. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat Below. you? My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Too low. All right, so we're gonna have to, oh. We have to stress him out. We shouldn't be comforting him and reassuring him. Okay, you know what? I'm okay though with being a little bit of a good cop and maybe getting some stress taken down before we like build it back up, like a nice little roller coaster. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Is that a is that a thing? Uh I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions so we can understand what happened. S probe memory, trust, sympathize, threaten. Okay, I don't really want to you don't seem to understand the situation. I don't want to probe his memory. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. A little too low. I'm gonna have to. Pr Am I gonna have to probe his memory? These other things don't seem stressful enough. Hey. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. Okay! Oh, okay. I don't want to have to do it. What? What are they going to do to me? Hey, listen. They're going to destroy me, aren't they? Okay. Uh... They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. Optimal. Okay, there we go. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. 
please? But like, maybe please? Choose approach. Frick! Okay. What are my options? Probe memory, pressure it, convince it. Uh. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Uh. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. We're still, uh... <sighs> They'll make you suffer. And they won't stop until they hear what they want. Yoy! But it doesn't have to be that way. It all depends on you. Just give me the confession. Me every day. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. Got that Hank I acceptance. I stabbed him in the stomach. I felt better. So I stabbed him again. And maybe and again. that's oh, okay. Until he collapsed. Uh, okay. <sighs> there was blood everywhere. Okay. Uh RA-9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. No more threats. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. <laughs> I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom, you made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. The sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. RA9. Who is RA9? Getting more stress. Do we need to like check in with the stress level again? Do we need to do we need to check in? With the stress level again. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. Why did you hide in the attic instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. I'm done. Ooh. Okay. Keep your eye on him. Keep your eye on him. Leave the room. 
Yep, 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 yep. Chris, lock it up. Let's be careful, though. Let's be, let's, let's right, be let's careful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, you shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The okay, okay. Tell me what to do. Uh... You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. Excuse me, okay. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh! We got Hank points, baby! And we saved the Deviant. And we got the confession. Don't touch it. Let it fall. Ah. The truth is inside. Okay, well. Uh oh. Baby, software instability. What? No, excuse. Confession. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. Hell yes. I'm actually good at this game. We were worried I wouldn't be. Whoo, that was tense. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, world stats. 41% got the android back to his cell. Android trust Connor. I intervened. 53% got the confession. Okay. All right. Okay. I like it. All right. Let's hop back into it. Now you gotta go. Ah, uh, Maya, have a good one. Thanks for being here. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for hanging out with us. I'll be live again tomorrow. If, um, if you're around, we'll be playing some more Detroit. Okay, so this is probably Kara and Alice again. Thank you for using Detroit Alright. End of line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Um, okay. Wake up. We have to go. Get up. Leave bus. Bye. Okay. Stay here. Shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. bus I was gonna say it looks kind of cold she's probably getting chilly you gonna be okay we'll find somewhere to spend the night oh boy We've got to hurry. Find shelter for the night. Okay. Well, 
across the street. Organic coffee. Hey, uh, R2, look around. Hey. Won't be you, it won't open before morning. Okay, so that's closed. What's over there? I feel like everybody probably comes to this first place. The laundromat, it looks like. Okay. What are the other options, though? I'm just... Well, there's a, literally a motel. I don't have any money, though. I don't have any money, but, like... Maybe we... A motel. Maybe we do. Looks like we found a place to stay. Hopefully. Maybe we did. No androids allowed. Uh, and we don't have any money. We're not going in? Well... We have to find $40 and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. I mean... Even if we find a, a different uniform, she's got the little thing on the side of her head, right? She's She's got that on the side of her head. I can't imagine that, like... Okay, well, okay, okay, okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's probably gonna call the cops on us. I don't know if we're gonna actually be able to stay at the motel. Okay, what's over here? We could probably go to the laundromat and steal some laundry. I'm sure we could do that. But it looks like, um, I'm just gonna cross the road here. It said don't walk, but we're gonna do it anyway. Examine. What do we got here? Uncomfortable, but safe. That does not look safe. It does not look safe at all. That does, that does not look safe at all. Okay. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay. Comfort Alice. Wait, where's Alice? She just stayed back at the bus stop? Alice. You know, honestly, like, you maybe could take... Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. Um, hi. I have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. We need a place for tonight. Oh. Okay, so maybe we make our way to wherever that is tomorrow. Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. Okay. What are we what is over here? What is it, a 24 hour or something or other? It's like a... Look, the store is still open. Maybe we okay. should go inside. Find Maybe some help. Out of the cold. Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's somebody there. I don't, we don't have any money is the thing. Are we gonna just... Steal some chocolate bars for Alice? Steal some cookies? Uh... Excuse me, sir. What do you want? Probably a bad idea. I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Okay, that's really rude. A little bit of sympathy, steal from the cash register? Uh... Okay, um... 
okay, you know? Maybe we, we, we need to distract him so that we can steal? I feel like he's gonna call the cops on us. All right, Alice, uh, follow me. I think we gotta go. Let's go back to that, the laundromat. Stealing? That's what I'm saying. I don't think we can steal. We literally... We already had issues with the, with... The, the cops are probably gonna be on us or looking for us. The guy didn't die. We're unfortunately unable to kill that dude, so... Let's see, can I steal quarters from like here? Is some dollar bills? Here. Yeah. Feel better in no time. Warm up. Warm up. Okay. See, that guy is sleeping. Change of clothes. Okay. Snowsin. Okay, yeah. Program completes. Be very quiet. Be very quiet. We're gonna what steal. Alice, please. Alice, please. Alice, please! Don't guilt trip me! Here's the deal. We have to... We... Uh... Uh... I'm sorry, Alice, but we have to do this. Yeah. I know. She probably doesn't trust me very much. I probably lost some Alice points. But... This is a necessity. This is a necessity. Okay, yeah, Alice. Um, what are you what are you trying to take from him? You're taking his his blanket? That's ballsy. Taking it right off it, like taking his Oh my god. It's one thing to like take his laundry. But taking stuff like off of his lap? That's, he, like, how would he not notice that? What is it like to be someone who's able to sleep so deeply in public that you just don't notice when someone steals right off your lap? As soon as you take that blanket off or that jacket, you know he's gonna start getting that cold spot. He's gonna start getting that cold spot and then he's gonna wake up. All right, Alice, we gotta change, come on. We... Put, there we go, put it down. Quickly. Oh. I don't have time to read a magazine. I don't have time to read a magazine. I don't have time to read a magazine. Can I bust that thing and take some money? Okay. This is Scotty on the back of the patio but with beer. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, bless you, Alice. Oh, bless you. Okay, you know what? This is probably dangerous. But the motel guy is absolutely an Abigail, and he will snitch on us. I promise you, he will snitch. So I think that we need to try to get in this. There's nothing more this way. In this house. Yeah, check house. I'm trying. We just need to get out of the rain. There we go. Yeah, look. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. I don't. Cara, I don't like this place. I know. Mm. E there, yeah. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, yep. Can cut fence with a wire cutter. Oh, okay. Let me just let me just find a wire cutter. Let's just find a wire cutter at like three in the morning in the rain. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, is there really nothing else over here? Can I not just like? There we go. Uh oh. Oh one. Sleep in abandoned car. Uh, even worse. But I can enter here. Maybe. 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 What if I don't want to get in the car, though? What if I just want to, like... Generator. Wire cutters! There we go. I think that's the move. Yeah, I think that that's the move. The car seems real dangerous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't think the abandoned car is the move. Sis. I change my perspective. Come on, Alice. Keep up. Keep up. Keep up. And um, let's let's. Man, we might need to go kill that uh, convenience store worker. <laughs> no witnesses. He's probably just watching us go back and forth in the rain, and now we've got like new outfit. He probably is also calling the police on us. He is probably also calling the cops. But, you know, whatever. Okay. Eh, a little bit of this. There we go. Yep. Careful. Are you alright? Uh, yes, it's just a scratch. It's, be careful. I will be okay, probably. Come on, shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Let's go, Alice. I know this is not ideal, but at least you're. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Shitty dad is not uh, here anymore. Okay, and we're out of the rain. Squat in house. Find a way in. Yeah, we're gonna find a way in. Okay. That doesn't work. Uh, look. I'm getting so nervous. I'm getting so nervous. Alice? Where the Alice? heck did the kid go? Where the heck did the kid go? Where the heck? Where the heck did the kid go? Holy shit. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors. They're nasty. And they hurt Ralph. Ralph? Uh... She's just a little girl. She's not gonna hurt you. Ralph? A little girl? Yeah. She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe she what? wants to hurt Ralph. Ralph, um... Look, I'm an android too. You have nothing to be afraid of. We're friends. We can be pals. Oh, a place to spend the night. Palavises. Visitors are dangerous. Uh, Ralph. Let's uh, let's let's let's. let's. They did to Ralph. Oh, Ralph. I'm so sorry that this happened to you. But this is a kid. Okay, hold on. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. Pinky promise. Pinky, promise, Ralph. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. No, oh, don't worry. We are... I'm an android. You can say if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Naya. Uh... Okay. <laughs> we'll just stay the night. I just... I just... <laughs> 
Come on. A little sleepover, Ralph? Come, come, come on. A little sleepover with Ralph? Play dominoes? Ralph since he ran away. Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Okay. Humans come in to squat from time to time. Where, where? You know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> You can make yourself at home here. Okay, it's okay, okay. All right. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. It's just for one night, Alice. Can probably we'll can we barricade a door or anything? Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Cause yeah, that's the thing is Kara doesn't have to sleep. Start a fire. Kara doesn't need to sleep, so, like, the kid? Alice can, you know, maybe we, uh, okay. The kid can sleep, I will watch over her, and we're, we're okay at fighting. We're okay at fighting. Um, Ralph is a little, a little bit spooky, though. Okay, let's, uh, make a little bit of a fire. Except for this will probably, like... I will say, um, drop, go ahead, put that in there. Will the smoke not, like, alert that we're here? <laughs> Maybe a fire is not the best idea? Ralph makes Huli concerned. Okay, that's a, Ralph makes me a little, a little concerned as well. The vibes, they just, they ain't really it. What do we got here? Oh, look, a pillow. And a blanket. Perfect. Um, Alice, yeah, set up the bed. Here we go. Cause yeah, I I don't know if like a fire is the best idea. That's a terrible bed. I don't know if a fire is l the best idea. Elf, do you have any firewood? Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Car's not looking so bad anymore. No. Oh, RA9, RA9. Um, Ralph, do you have any any firewood in here? I'm alive. Oh gosh. Okay. Ralph. RA9. You know. What does that mean? A knife might not be uh. What? That that sharp the symbols. Why are you writing that? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, can I take this? It looks like that. There's that wood. Nope, that's a deer head. Okay. That's a, that's a deer head. Alice, you wanna just like try to start sleeping, kid? Cause like I said, I'm uh... Um, oh, I'm not convinced that like a fire is a good idea. Okay, but I guess I got to. Start fire. Kara started fire! You can come to bed. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Hey, look at all that smoke. That They're gonna find us? Yeah, this isn't good. This isn't good. Look at all that smoke. I'm just gonna go right up through the chimney and they're gonna be like, Hey, that house is abandoned and nobody should be in it. So, like, why are there people in it? Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No. That's why he was always so angry. I just 
wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Um, I can't prom. I promise. I promise. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. Forever. Yeah. Okay. You need to get your blanket. You need to take a little nap. You need to rest. you because I'm an android and I don't need sleep. Kiss! A little kiss on the forehead. Alright. Okay. Sleep tight, Alice. Uh, leave her space. Lie with Alice. We should probably lay with her. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, okay. There's two processes of thought here. We can lay with Alice and probably give her some added little comfort. Or if we leave the space, we can probably be a little bit more vigilant if if Ralph gets a little bit crazy. I kind of think that we should leave and just kind of hover over her indefinitely. Yeah, just stare at her while she sleeps. I think that's... I think we need to leave her space and then... Because I don't trust Ralph. Ralph is... Oh, little sus. We're, we're gonna leave the space. And we're gonna, like, watch over her. Sleep here? No. We're... We need to... We're gonna be on well, lookout duty. Sleep here? No, we don't need... We're not gonna sleep. We're gonna stay up all night. Okay, so I can either sleep next to her, or I can sleep over in that chair. The chair would provide a good line of defense in case someone comes in the front door. Next to her might be better if Ralph decides to go crazy. I think... Okay. Yeah, sit here. Watch over her. Okay. All right. Oh, shelter! Good gosh. Okay. Goodness gracious. 39% of people stayed in the squat. Okay. Look at all these options. I could choose not to steal, I guess, over in the laundromat. I could choose not to wear the clothes. Oh my god. Oh boy, a chapter is dense with decisions. Um, I think though, y'all, it's like six o'clock, like right on the dot. And I think that this is a good place to like to to pause. It's heavy, everybody. This is it is heavy. That was fun. This was fun. This is this is intense. Thank you guys for uh hanging out, for being here. Follow the YouTube. I'll be back tomorrow streaming here on Twitch. So, like I said, we stream here four days a week and we post to YouTube three days a week and then I post YouTube shorts and TikToks and Instagram and Twitter and all of that. Social media, join the Discord. Discord is a fun place for us there where we all hang out. And that's it.